Turkey is a country with a long and rich history, amazing monuments and original nature. Get to know seven most beautiful places that we think are really worth seeing. Most tourists start their exploration of Turkey from Istanbul. The origins of the city, located in both Europe and Asia, date back to year 600 BC. It was founded by the Greeks and called Byzantium. Later the Romans took it over and it finally became the capital of the then world when Christianity reigned. Its name was also changed to Constantinople. Trade, science and art flourished. In the 15th century, after the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottoman Turks, the name was changed to Istanbul again, today called Istanbul. The city itself became the capital of the Ottoman Empire. Currently, it is inhabited by about 16 million people. It is also a financial, industrial and scientific center of the country. Rich history of the city left many monuments from different eras preserved to this day. The most popular is Hagia Sophia. Although it was built over 1,500 years ago, this one of the largest churches in the world still captivates with its architecture and beautiful Byzantine mosaics. During its construction unique design solutions were used that still arouse admiration today. But there are more historic churches in Istanbul that give an idea of the greatness of Constantinople. It is also worth taking a look at the Muslim temples that enchant with their colors and decorations. It is worth seeing the Blue Mosque and the Suleymanay Mosque, the largest and most beautiful in Istanbul. If you like military architecture, you can admire defensive structures from many eras in Istanbul. Ramparts, towers and fortresses show how rich and defensive this city was. Visiting Istanbul, however, will be incomplete if you do not visit the local bazaars. You can buy literally everything there and you must bargain. The Grand Bazaar, also known as the Covered Bazaar, is the most important and one of the oldest. You'll find plenty of spices, sweets or Turkish handicrafts there. If you want to learn more about the attractions in Istanbul, see our video fully dedicated to this city. It's only 150 kilometers away from here to Istanbul, 25 kilometers to the sea and 36 kilometers to the Winter Sports Center. This is Bursa, the first capital of the Ottoman Empire. Its origins, however, are much earlier because it was founded in the 3rd century BC by Greek colonists. Today, the city is an important industrial and cultural center, especially known for its clothing and silk production. It is also famous for peaches and chestnuts. Green Bursa, this is how the city is most often referred to today as there are lots of parks and gardens. There are also beautiful buildings preserved from centuries ago. The most beautiful monuments are the Great Mosque and the Green Mosque, the Green Mausoleum and the Old Silk Bazaar. Also go up the Uludag mountain which offers an amazing view of the city. You should try the Iskender Kebab in Bursa. It was where this iconic dish, also known as Dona Kebab, was created at the end of the 19th century. Bursa is also a Turkish winter sports center and a famous spa. There are quite good ski slopes here. Numerous springs of sulfur thermal waters allow to take a hot bath after sports craze. Healing water is also used in local spas. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation, tickets to attractions and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. The capital of Turkey is not Istanbul, as many people think, but Ankara, located inland. It is not often visited by tourists, although it has a lot to offer. According to a legend, today's capital was founded by the mythical King Midas. However, the settlement here is much older because people had been present in this area already in the Paleolithic. Greeks, Romans, Celts, Byzantines, Arabs and Turks are just some of those who lived in Anatolia and its most important city, Ankara. In the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations you can admire artifacts that show amazing history of this area. What should you see in Ankara? Of course, the remains of the Romans, including the Temple of Augustus and Byzantine defensive walls with an impressive citadel. The fortress is also a great viewpoint. Aslanhain and Kokotip stand out among the numerous mosques. 
The first is a 12th century example of beautiful Seljuk architecture. The second mosque is almost an exact copy of the Blue Mosque. Almost, because instead of six minarets, it only has four. It is also hard to miss the Ataturk Mausoleum and Museum. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk is the creator of a modern secular Turkish state. Thanks to his reforms, the country has developed significantly and has become an important point on the political and economic map of the world. Cappadocia is also part of Anatolia. This is probably one of the most popular and most photographed places in Turkey. The land owes its astonishing look to volcanoes that have formed thick layers of volcanic tuff here. For the next thousands of years rain, wind and frost caused slow erosion of relatively soft rock. This is how the conical chimneys characteristic of this region were created with rooms and tunnels dug inside. This is how, not only original churches were created, but also whole multi-level towns. Many houses carved in tuff are still inhabited. In Gorim, the town that is a tourist center of Cappadocia, there is a complex of Byzantine monasteries and churches carved out of the rocks and decorated with frescoes. Elmul Kalis, or Apple Church, is considered the most beautiful. Gorim is also the starting point for balloons from which you can admire Cappadocia from the air. Flights are not cheap, but the views are so phenomenal that it's a shame not to take advantage of this opportunity. There are many more underground towns here, in fact more than 400. Derinkuyu is one of the largest. The labyrinths of corridors and chambers on many levels reach 55 meters into the ground. There were not only residential houses but also warehouses, churches and cemeteries. Apart from conical chimneys, nature has also carved beautiful valleys in Cappadocian tufts. The most popular are the Valley of Love and the Valley of Imagination. When visiting Turkey, it's hard to miss Pamukkale. It is a small town in the Karuksu Valley near Denizli. There are hot springs with highly mineralized water. The flowing water forms white limestone sediment which formed fabulous terraces, stalactites, rock waterfalls and basins filled with blue-colored water. The white color of the dripstones is associated with cotton down, which is why this place is also called the Cotton Castle. To protect this travertine wonder, a national park was created, which was entered on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The beauty of the place and the healing properties of the water had already been appreciated in antiquity. Above the terraces you can see the ruins of Hierapolis, an ancient spa. Apparently Cleopatra herself spent time here. Today, you can also take advantage of bathing in thermal waters, but only in prepared pools, also in the Cleopatra Pool. One of the most beautiful parts of the Turkish Mediterranean coast is called the Turkish Riviera. Beautiful wide beaches, clean water and perfect weather are the basic advantages of this southern part of Turkey. Add numerous monuments and mountain landscapes to this and you already know why you should come here. There are many tourist resorts here. The most interesting are Antalya, Alanya and Kema. Feel free to visit them if you are looking for places to relax. Each of them is of an ancient origin and has many valuable monuments. Antalya will delight you with its 13th century minaret and its location at the foot of the Taurus Mountains. You will also see the ancient ramparts with the famous Hadrian's Gate here. Alanya with its trademark, Cleopatra Beach, with golden sand is equally charming. The resort is located in the former Pirate Bay and the best views are from the tower located in the historic fortress. Kema is a typical resort, but you will also find ruins of ancient cities here. Visit Side and Manavgat located next to each other too. The history of Side dates back to over 600 years BC. Among the numerous remains of ancient and later buildings, the well-preserved ruins of the largest theater in Asia Minor stand out. It could accommodate up to 15,000 people watching performances. Take a walk along the streets of the beautiful old town too. Amazing cascading waterfalls on the Manavgat River are waiting for you in nearby Manavgat. Also, take a look at the local market where you can buy literally everything. The Turkish Riviera is not the only Riviera in this country. The Aegean Riviera, stretching along the coast of the Aegean Sea, is just as beautiful. It is a perfect place for a family holiday. The water here is calmer and warmer and the beaches are just as beautiful. 
In addition, a rich history that goes deep into antiquity. The most popular resort is Bodrum, eagerly chosen by tourists. The former name of this town is Halicarnassus. The famous mausoleum, one of the wonders of the world, was located here however only the foundations have survived to this day. The rest of the building was used by the Knights Hospitaller to build a huge castle of St. Peter towering over the town. The town will appeal both to those who are looking for peace and the fans of good fun. Marmaris is also a popular resort. Beautifully situated on the slopes of the hills covered with pine forests that descend to the sea, it is more intimate than Bodrum. This natural harbour is often visited by sailors. There aren't many sights to see, but you can sail there. If you want to relax in one of the most beautiful places in Turkey, choose Aludanize. This small town is where the Blue Lagoon, recognized as the most beautiful Turkish beach, is located. Intense water color contrasts with the whiteness of the sand. The unique Butterfly Valley is located nearby. From May to September, you can observe about 40 species of night and 30-day butterflies. Also visit the island of St. Nicholas, which is considered the place of his birth. From Aludnais it is close to Fethiye, a beautifully situated town which, apart from sunbathing, also offers excellent conditions for various water sports. Among the monuments, it is worth seeing the ruins of the Roman amphitheater and the extraordinary Lycian tombs from the 5th century BC. You can make another trip to Dalian. It is a small fishing village located on the bank of the river of the same name. However, there are plenty of attractions here. Ancient ruins, unique royal tombs carved in the rocks, mud baths which beautify and heal. There is also the beautiful Astuzu beach. It is not easy to reach it, you have to get there by boat along the branches of the Dalian Delta, often called the Turkish Amazon. Not only tourists choose the beach. For centuries, Coretta turtles have come here to lay their eggs. The entire area around the village is protected, thanks to which it impresses with its wonderful flora and fauna, especially with many species of birds and butterflies. What time of year is the best to visit Turkey to enjoy its beauty and have a good rest? Summer is naturally the hottest, that is June, July and August. That's when most tourists visit Turkey. If you choose spring or autumn months, you won't complain about the weather either. Only in April or May the sea will be a bit cooler. There will be rather little rainfall. However, you can count on smaller crowds in particularly popular places. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip!